recognize that face. All right, take a look. Nice. Good choice. Nice. I trust nobody's missing this. So old Bob Crawford was livid about his coach getting robbed. I was very sympathetic. After a little tchotchke, are we? I won't ask too many questions. Setting a good example there, Arthur. Hey! hey. Living, Living high on the hog now, sir! That's good news. Yes, sir. Fine times for us all. One of us. Stop calling him boy now, Bill. He don't like that no more. Sorry, Dad. Listen to me. Don't waste your life worrying about people who don't care about you. You got me. You got the whole camp. So stop them tears. You hear? Yes. And you got Arthur here for you, too. Get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Hey, 
Arthur. Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. Well, give scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. Hey, let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? The story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. 
And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? Come on, Morgan, pick up the pace here. Think so? Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah, follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny feller, John Marston. But my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. They're left here, towards Rhodes. Oh, so I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea, <laughs> back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John? Secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth, get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run point. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. And help you three where I can. All right for something. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah. Can't you go any faster? Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on the tracks. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Yeah. Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire. Yeah. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still want die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. Join us on there. Go on! Get hey. on there! Bastard! All yours, Captain. Well, go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and sure. the car will get shot! Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! I don't want to get hurt. I'll do there anything. you go. 
Let's make this quick, people, come on! We ain't leaving till this bag's full! Yo, why do this? I ain't got nothing. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Honey, hey, now! Don't do this! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay, Come on. okay! In the bag, God everything damn it. Got. Keep it coming, don't be shy! People like you make me sick! Hey, you two seem to think we're playing games! What? God damn it! Sick is better than dead, lady. I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says, so this can be over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. Hey, boys, lead me. No, you can go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? Hey, you sure about Why that? Why are you wasting our time? You huh? show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. Come on! Just put the gun down. I beg of you. Everything you got. Money. Valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Don't. Honey, now! Oh, son of a bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks move a muscle. You hear me? What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> Twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Oh. Gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. I don't. And this racket's in there. Harsh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. When doing me best, all right. I know. That's what's worrying me. These folks are rich, all right. Come on, we should get out of here. Ari, we should probably be going now. We'll take that. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many, you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Austin Smith, get ready. You may come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Man, there's a few more of them torn enough. Damn my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Last chance. Drop.
Let's go. Stay with me. <laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. At least we made some money. And hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. You think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Hernandez, do you? Take me to him. I got some questions to ask. Ah, uh, okay. If it's just questions, he's up in the cabin. Watch it, people. Stranger in the camp. He ain't going to be here long. Watching you go real easy. Trouble. I'm here to speak with you. About Boyd Calloway. Put your weapons away. Now come out. Uh, you ain't getting in here. <laughs> Put them away. I'm unarmed. <coughs> well. King <laughs> I just want to talk. How boy, Calloway? Sure. Here's your message.